Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closing lower on Monday, pressured by shares in semiconductors and semiconductor equipment, software and services, and capital goods sectors. On the economic front, the Chicago Fed National Activity Index improving to 0.27 in December from 0.21 the previous month, all while decliners beating advancers, 64% of S&P 500 constituents trading lower yesterday. Now, PG&E expects to make a Chapter 11 filing as soon as today as planned, this, as, as planned despite investors' efforts to keep the company out of bankruptcy. This reported by Bloomberg, citing those familiar with the matter, while Yum! Brands announcing the promotion of David Gibbs to president and COO. Turning overseas, Asian markets mostly up today, the Nikkei up 0.08%, the Hang Seng down 0.16%, China CSI 300 up 0.32%, South Korea's Kospi up 0.28%. European markets gaining ground in U.S. futures calling for a slightly positive start. Now, in terms of expectations today, Pfizer fourth quarter EPS seen at 63 cents. Verizon Communications fourth quarter EPS $1.09 on sales of approximately $34.4 billion, while 3M fourth quarter EPS seen at $2.28 on sales of approximately $7.9 billion, while Apple first quarter EPS seen at $4.17 on sales of approximately $84 billion. While on the economic dock at 9 o'clock in the morning, we have the S&P Case Schiller Core Logic 20 City Index, as well as 10 o'clock seeing the conference board's consumer confidence read. Now turning over to the markets, the S&P 500 is where we begin. That sees its key resistance 2648. That's also in focus. The relative strength index makes the bearish short positions below. 2648 are favored with targets at 2622 and 2612 in extension. The Nasdaq sees the downside prevail while the Dow Jones sees its key resistance 24,500.